Hello, my name is Michael Garcia. This is for CE478. And for this week's construction failure blog, I will be talking about the big blue crane collapse. So a little background information. This project was uh, the Miller Park Baseball Stadium while it was under construction and being erected. This happened in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And what this failure was, was a crane failure. And this happened July 14th, 1999. Here's a picture of the stadium complete. Now the big uh, feature with this stadium is it had a retractable roof, as you can see pictured here to the side. Um, basically this roof opened and closes. That's, uh, that was the primary main function of this. So causes, so here's the crane as pictured there. It's a blue crane and it was actually lifting one of these members as it is holding now that goes onto the uh, retractable roof. Now the load that the crane was carrying was over 450 tons, but when it did fail, it caused another crane to collapse and most of the roof that was already erected to also collapse. So the, you know, the total debris that was falling um, was over 1200 tons. So it's a lot of, lot of, lot of weight. Um, over a million pounds coming down on somebody. Uh, the wind gusts that day were 26 to 27 miles per hour. So it was uh, quite a bit windy. So the, that was one of the primary, that was pretty much the primary cause, you know, the crane was able to withstand the load. But the fact that it was uh, very windy contributed to this collapse more than anything. And also it's important to note the crane was not properly secured. Um, when I say that, as in terms there should have been more gravel at the base for it to be uh, just better secured and that is noted in the lawsuit that took place. So let's go over the failure. Pictured here to the left, a safety official was filming the whole time that this failure happened. Um, you know, of course for safety purposes and documentation purposes, that's why he was filming. Um, it was a very windy day, like I said before. So here to the left, this is moments before failure. Um, and here to the right is pretty much part of the aftermath, a kind of a picture after they cleared most, I shouldn't say all, but most of the debris. You can see the crane doubled over, pretty much broken in half, um, fell right onto the structure, fell right on, into the inner part of the stadium. Um, and with that, of course, you know, carrying this whole load, as you can see to the left. So very 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 devastating failure during construction um, it's also important to note that's something I didn't include on the last slide um, they were behind on schedule so there was this urgency to hurry up and get it done um, that is something very important to note so the aftermath so there was three dead iron workers from the local union there in Milwaukee five others were injured and uh, over $99 million were paid to the victims and the victims' families of this construction tragedy and construction failure. Here's another picture, almost uh, identical to the one you have seen before, just basically the crane doubled over, broken in half. They've already cleared most of the debris inside of the stadium. Uh, just a really, really awful, you know, something that was 100% preventable that did not need to happen. So there's a few takeaways here. Uh, like I said earlier, the crane was not properly secured. Um, there was a project manager there that had wanted to order gravel about 10 to 12 times um, to put as act as a base course for underneath the <coughs> excuse me crane, and that never did happen. He was denied by Mitsubishi. Um, the crane was not designed to withstand wind gusts of over 20 miles per hour, and the wind gusts that day were 26 to 29 miles per hour. So there was no no need to, you know, go ahead and lift up that load and try to get it installed that day, given that the crane wasn't even designed to withstand that amount of force. Um, safety should have always come first, and you know, this should always come first on every project, no matter no matter what financial constraints. And this one for this project was. Uh, they were behind schedule and they would have been penalized on their contract if uh, they did not meet certain dates. So this was, ah, I'm sorry, it says 100% available, but this was 100% preventable, you know, just I'd say even though the crane wasn't secured properly, they're behind schedule, it's not, it wasn't designed to withstand that wind, 
that wind factor. So given that it was that windy that day, crane should have never been operated and all these lives could have been saved. And here's a memorial to the right that is at the stadium for those three iron workers that died that day. Well, thanks.